Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Today we're playing Lethal Company. They got the new update um, that recently came out, version 60. Well, version 61 because they had a patch note fix, a bug fix. Um, yeah, I want to try something different. And, you know, I haven't recorded a, just a chill gaming video in a while, so I thought, why not do this? Um, because I've been taking a break from streaming for about a week or two-ish. I'm not sure exactly. I kind of lost track, but it's been a while since I've streamed. Maybe a week or so. So, yeah, I'm going to play some people come me for today. Let's get right into it. So, I'm... I read the patch notes. I'm not exactly... Oh. Oh. Okay, that's different already. Oh, wow, okay. Can I control this? I can... Oh, I, I can, but... I pardon a defense I tunnel... What? Oh, this is so weird. What is going on? I can move, but, like... It feels like I'm not moving it, because it's already moving on its own. What's that coming up? Is that, like, rocks or something? Oh, it's smoke. Warning O2 critical. I guess I'm running low on oxygen. That makes sense. I'm in the open space vacuum. What's going on? That emote? Nope. Is there something on screen that I'm supposed to be looking at right now? What's going on? This music sounds nice though. Wow. Who would have thought that a horror game could be like weirdly beautiful? Okay, maybe not. Why the audio just cut out? What the oh is that, that's a door? Okay, um, that was something. Was that the door? I feel like that was the door from the last cutscene, from the last intro cuts from version 50. I remember there was like, I didn't play or record that, but there was like an intro where there was a door incompatible. Uh, just it. Um, there's a door behind the player, and you can see, uh, it's like, it op something open, like, the wall open, like, a door. Is that... That guy that was in the vac space vacuum, he was in outer space. The guy that was in outer space, was that the guy that was at the wall of the other guy from version 50? So, like, it's connecting from different, like, perspectives, maybe? I don't know. It's just a period to me. Um, just a period of mine. I'm not entirely sure, so... Yeah, let's get right into it. Let's do file one, friends only, so I don't get randoms joining. I don't know, I games like uh Lethal Company and like content warning, I don't understand like playing with random people. I mean I get it. I, oh. Welcome, I click this I know. Thank you. Uh don't wanna hear this hard enough times. Thank you though. So yeah. New stuff, that's all I know. And stuff from the last update removed. Favorite animal? Cat. Well, in the team dynamic? Uh, leader. I'm alone, so I'm the only one. I'm the leader of my own clan. So I am the only one in the clan. Um, money. We got $60. Lockpick. 50% off. Cruiser. Oh, I love the cruiser. So fun to use. Um, I don't think I'll buy anything for now. What moves do we got? Um, experimentation, assurance, or march. I'm not going to any other ones. We got different added, and that's new good. How about we go? Eh, let's, let's, just, let's do experimentation. Let's do experimentation. Let's see how that goes. Alright, we landed. Let's get right to it. 
So, I played this frequently a while back when the newer, the uh, last new update came out, version 55. When they added the new moon and like the butler and stuff. The butler I only encountered like once before, so this feels really loud. I'm not exactly sure what the the balance of the microphone and everything. Seems like no. Seems pretty good. A few stutters here and there, but that's normal. Ooh. Big bolt. Mine. So what to expect? I'm not a hundred percent sure. It's weird, they removed like a bunch of enemies they added in like the last update but added some new ones and they said that they removed it for now whatever that could mean it's like maybe there's something wrong with the enemy and they just wanted to rework it or something i don't know whatever it is i bet uh i bet seeker is working uh working on something you know apparatus we don't want to take that yet It's a dead end. That was weird. I don't like those noises. Was there anything in here? Oh. Key. Might need that. Um. That's really it? It's the key? I found a stick. Oh, it sounds like nothing. I, was like, I mean, it is nothing. It's a dead end, but like. I thought it was a. Uh, the weird abyssal doorway. Oh, my horn. Yeah. Personally, I thought that um, I, it's I find it interesting that this game has like its own lore and everything. It's sort of a stool. Wedding ring. It's pretty rare, especially on this map. I find it interesting that, you know, there's actual, like, story and such, because, like, it's a horror game, and for there to be lore, it's, like, different, you know? I mean, there's Fight of Freddy is a huge, like, franchise that has lore and story and everything. But, like, one that everybody, like, it's a multiplayer horror game that, oh, that's a mental thing. I don't want to find out what horrors are going to come out of that. It's like different because, um... It's different because it's a multiplayer horror game and as well that, like, it's perceived as a funny game. Like, sure, there's people that actually do get scared, but there's also people that find it hilarious when they see their best friend jump off into the unknown, you know? Like, um, when they're jumping over the giant gap in the facility and accidentally fall to their death. You know, people find that hilarious. And personally, I also, when it happens, so I find it pretty funny, but you know. Yes, I know. Thank you. I know how to sell scrap. I find it funny too because, like, um, I don't think well. Uh, it's just different because. You wouldn't expect a multiplayer horror game to have such an in-depth lore that is very vague, yet engaging. It's a different approach and I like it. Like, it's fresh. And that's what's different between- I see a lot of people comparing Content warning and uh, lethal company. I like both. I don't have a specialized preference. I like both no matter what. But I see people people comparing it, saying, "Oh, this one's better. Or this one's worse, or whatever." I find them both fun. Uh, playing alone or with friends, they're both fun. Content warning. I have more hours in lethal company just because I've had it longer. Um, and also I've been trying mods. Uh. Some are still broken because like newer updates coming out, but like, still, I find it, I find them both fun. 
but Lethal Company definitely has a different approach compared to Content Warning. Content Warning is solely based around making funny moments of your friends, you know, having your friends sacrifice themselves for, for views on Spooktube, you know? Um, oh god, that, that thing's open. Um, you know what I mean? I really don't want to stick around and find out what's going to make your mind. I don't want to stick around and find out what's going to come out of that uh, slot. I feel like I should just lose something there. I'm going to grab this and get out. Um, but yeah, like, I, I feel like content warning is solely based around, um, actually having funny moments with your friends. Oh, bread. Okay. That was like actually like that startled me. I was like, oh god, I'm gonna die, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, like content warning has a completely different approach compared to Lethal Company. Lethal Company is meant to be scary and dying is not worthwhile. Maybe for a few chuckles. But content warning, dying is part of the game. Because like dying I mean, unless you're playing alone, you don't want to die, because if you die, it's over completely. If you're playing alone, then you don't want to die. But if you're playing with your friends, and, you know... You need them to record your death, or you getting injured, and you get more views. You progress. You progress. You progress in the game more. And, you know, it's just better overall. It's just... It's different that way. So, you know... I, I find them both fun, no matter what. I'm not gonna say one's better than the other, but my opinion. Different from everybody's, but you know. So, but it's just at face value, content warning. I mean, Lethal Company, better on the lore aspects. Content warning, better on the, um, like, laughs, you know? Like, having a good time. I mean, not, not that you can't have a good time on a on uh, Lethal Company, but, you know, compared to Content Warning, where Content Warning's main goal is to, uh... actually get uh, those funny moments, and then record them and save them. Like, it's a built-in feature to record and save the funny moments you have. Like, that's amazing. And, like, I still have a bunch of, um... I still have a bunch of, um... Funny moments from when I played with uh, Jake and Nathan. And even Keo now. I, I, Keo got the game and it's been so fun playing with all four of them every now and then, but it's been a while since. I stopped playing Content Warning after their last update because uh, they're taking a break. Which, it's, 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 they're take, the uh, developers are taking a break from recording. They're not recording from uh, developing the game because they have other projects they have to work on. Because, And that's the funny part. Content Warning was just an April Fool's thing. Like, it came out on April 1st as a, as a joke. And then people continued to play it, and then orig originally it was free. And then people started buying it even after it became uh, paid. Like, you had to pay for it. Um, so, yeah, like, it's, it's great. So, and that's the thing about that, because, like, Content Warning came out as a joke. And became super popular because of how funny it was. Lethal Company just came out randomly. Everybody liked it because it was something fresh and new. And the fact is, everybody found it funny because it outsold, uh, what was it, Call of Duty or something like that? I don't remember. It outsold some game that was like, so, like super popular. Or not even super popular, but like brand new. Like, like, well, like, um, like a whole team of developers like uh, working on it. And then this one guy comes in and it's like, hey, here's a funny horror game where you run away from guys and collect scrap for some company that you don't even know who owns the company. And, you know, here, you know, take the game. And everybody's like, oh, yeah, we like this. This is fun, you know? But no, like, everybody loves it. So, you know, I almost, I almost got it. That's fine. But that's the funny part, you know, like, things just happen because, you know, the internet comes together for one small thing, and it makes a big difference, you know? 
And the thing is, this game's still getting developed too, which is even greater. Sure, it's not as mainstream as when everybody was all hyped up for it back then. Back in the... I don't know, quite a few months ago. But still, you know. Like, um... Like some of the people I've watched, uh... But like, I, I, I scroll through like, um... What was that? For like sites like YouTube, Twitter, um, literally anything. And I, back when it was like super popular for like the first time, I saw like so many videos and like funny moments of like, oh, my, my friend fell off and died. Oh, yeah, that's hilarious. And then, you know, they were getting like so many views, like their videos were getting popular. Like people were getting like, loads of views for just uploading such a simple thing with their friend jumping off a... Uh... Yeah. Yeah. But it's not worth it. Whatsoever. Um, but yeah, like, it's so funny, like, people are getting so many views just off of, uh, uploading, like, a 30-second clip of their friend getting chased by a coil head or uh, a spider, you know? What, 142? Oh, there. What was that? Toilet paper? It blocks my whole view, that's... What? <laughs> okay, well, that's new. I'm just worried about getting out, I heard... Like, crackling, I think it's a bracken or something? Oh, that, that, that thing. Get, get nice game. Where'd it go? I don't know. Just gonna run for it. Am I even? No, no. I can't really tell where I'm walking, but I'm trying to make it out. Oh my god, that's a turret! Please! Oh my goodness, what's going on? Oh, there it is. Oh wait, there's a mine there. I remember that. Please let me out. Oh my goodness. That was way too much for what just happened. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh I okay, it's just, it's so weird that it's a double handed item. I could easily like I feel like compared to everything else, this wouldn't be a double handed item. Two handed item. So yeah, that's just that's my opinion on those two games. Like I like them both. Baseline, I like them both. I feel like whatever happens to them, I still like them. It's not like Minecraft, where I play like literally every day. I play them every now and then just because it's fun. You know, they're just small. The new updates that come out, you know, they're fun. You know, I enjoy them. I play them until I get bored. I go back every now and then, so. Smart or something walking around. There's just no old birds in this map. I mean, right now at least. It's like, I don't know. So I've seen old birds on this map before. Maybe afterwards I'll try the um the uh, weekly from the challenge map thing. And that's the thing too, like they added like a replayable thing. Like the um I don't know, but, like no shot. I don't know. It's losing everything that I have. And that's the thing too, they added like such a replayable like they made it this game so replayable that it's actually like amazing. Like you could play this game non-stop for an hour and not even realize you're playing it for an hour. Because like of how like engaging and exhilarating it is to just like run around and avoid the weird people probably are inside the inside the um structures, you know. It's it's exhilarating. I'm the, uh, 
I don't want none of that. I don't want to deal with none of that. To be honest, the um the company cruiser is fun to use, but it's not practical. If I'm going to be honest, just because it's so difficult to drive it, and as well, it's so like it's either super fragile or super tough for literally no reason. Like sometimes you can run through like five trees and be just perfectly fine, but then you can run through like like uh, you can run through like two trees and explode, or even one tree. I don't know. I think I'm gonna take it safe and just like go to march. Let's land. Let's do it. But yeah, no, like, and then there's, and then like, like I said, for like a company, like it's replayable and fun. Same thing with content warning, it's replayable and fun, like, if you're on your own or with friends. So my mic decides to stop working for a bit, but eventually fixes itself somehow, so, uh, sorry about that. So. So bad so far. Probably just goes through the, uh, the uh, fire areas over here, because I'm not proud to go to the uh, actual main entrance, because the main entrance, you have to go all the way around that big pool of water over there. It's quite annoying. I was say it's a turret, but now it's just uh, the light from the fire exit. It's fine. Let's... What was that? Anyways. It's really dark. Like, really dark. Now it's too close to it. Okay, like That's it. so much for that. Come on, like something around. Let's both me. Let's say that I have both hands. Let's see where you right to try to stay. Locked. Come see. Um, oh. oh, that's pretty practical. A strange generation. There's a dark door downstairs, but the upstairs is unlocked. Didn't open. Look how it's. How's this going? 26 is good. But if. We should have been. 66 is better. Uh huh. 7. Better. This? Money. This? Six, six, seven. So I could walk the way back the way I walked, but do that, or I can make things more complicated and you know, find a different way out. What was that? I've never heard that sound effect before. Oh, that's a good story. Light means the good is coming. I think. Toilet paper. I definitely don't want to take that. Like that. Come on, the way has to be nearby. Has to be at least one way out of here. 
guess I'll be able to just keep walking. Oh, the way out. Hey. Oh my god, it's late. Well, it's not horribly late, but it's definitely much later than I expected it to be. I keep using these downhill moments for advantage because you go much faster. I like that. I like the feature that they added, that the fact that you go faster going downhill. Unless it was already a thing or they just made it more consistent, I'm not sure. Either way, it's a good feature. I like it. Makes the game feel more, um... I was gonna say fast paced, but that's definitely not the right word. I feel like this... Makes it feel more... Makes it, it makes the movement feel a lot more, like... It's gonna say, like, less clunky. Less clunky. I think it feels less clunky because you'd be going down and uphill at the same speed, you know. And I was like, what was that street? But yeah, as well, like compared to like um other things where like um because like you have the weight system, you know, it makes no sense to have high weight and go slow, but when you go down, you go the same speed as if you're going uphill. As now you just go downhill faster because you know, you're going down. Weather is. Oh, I thought it said locked. I was like, what is there, birds everywhere? I know. I don't need to talk about boarding to make company building. I've already done it before. So yeah, I just feel like mm, it's been pretty fun playing this after this drop off on the cut there. I just feel like it's, it's. I should have done that. I was way too close. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That was. That was. Holy moly. I was way too close. Definitely should do that again. Yeah, I like this, you know, it's sort of like a semi-chill thing to do. I say semi because, you know, running away from automated turrets and uh, giant arachnophobia spiders. Arachne spiders. Arachnes. Spiders. Big, big spiders, yep. Big. Yep. This thing's the eight legs. It's scary. I just realized a little, uh, plug at the back. It's like, there, great. Right. Oh, a lot of money. Wait, 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 let me get this last bit of... Let me get this last bit of the hall. Aww. Did you close it? Thank you. 579 just from that, and we're not even done? Oh my goodness. By almost two company groups from that. Um, I should probably press the bell. I don't know what's going to do it on its own. Let's press the bell, please. New Fortnite season came out today, and I thought it was, uh, not today, but yesterday. It's pretty good. All the Marvel stuff, though, is like, it's too much going on, you know? Like, if uh, you get hold of all the, like, the, um, all the War Machine stuff, it's just chaos everywhere. So. <sighs> well, there's that done. It must certainly make with them. But yeah, it's pretty fun just, you know, talking about stuff. Yes, sir. Two? 
that's just no. That is nothing. We can buy two company crews if we wanted to. That's pretty cool. I'm um, not gonna buy anything anyways. But yeah. That's pretty cool. I'm pretty good haul. Got a lot of loot. Anyways, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, it's a pretty lengthy one. I might chop it down a bit if I have to, but, you know. Anyways. Um, that was really fun. I hope you enjoyed. Um. If you did enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video like this. And you also never miss a stream because, uh. I might start doing those again. I'm not sure. School's starting soon. And, well, let's just say that it's kind of hard. School. So, I'm just going to go back to my normal routine of doing shorts at school every now and then with Kyo or... Hopefully we go to Kyo. Um, or um, just uploading videos when I can, recording after school and then uploading it another day or something like that. You know, just like this. So, Anyways, if you enjoyed... Oh, wait, I already said that. Anyways, <laughs> that was fun. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.